How do you do? I'm uh, Graham Murphy, your product manager here at Tech Rebels. Today we're just going to look at the um, BNK triple four eight dose meters. It's a dose dosimeter designed for uh, doing all health and safety surveys. Right. Okay. Then the kit has um, we've got three dosimeters uh, which are intrinsically safe. Here's the uh, charger with its power supply, the dongle for the software, software calibrator and the uh, infrared interface for it, plus the manuals. All right, now we'll just go through how to operate the instrument. <coughs> Turn it on, we press this left key, and it turns it on. Turn it off, we can hold the left key in, turn it off. To clear the memory, we hold the right key in and we push the left key, turns it on, drops it to a configuration mode. Now we can push the right key, scroll through this, there's various settings here, till we get to clear memory. Left key switches that to yes. Right key confirms, right key confirms again. Now we've cleared the memory. We want to start logging. Push both keys in, here's our start symbol, it's now logging. You can see a little play symbol on the left hand side there. In order to lock the keyboard, we push the right key in, hold that, now you push the left key three times and we've now locked the keyboard, it's playing. Now we want to unlock it, we hold the right key there, push the left one, two, three, and we've unlocked it. Now when you want to stop logging, we push both keys in, stop. There we are, we've stopped. So to start, you push both keys in, to stop, you push both keys in. And you can lock it by holding the right key, pushing three times, uh, and unlock, hold the right key, and push three times. The instrument must be calibrated prior to use, so I, we rotate the windshield and remove it. The windshield must be on when the instrument is used. I'm going to turn the instrument on and have it boot up. Now I insert the calibrator on the instrument. It's all sitting on the desk happily, so it's fully inserted on the microphone. Now I turn the calibrator on and it will say in a couple of seconds it will identify the fact that the calibrator is on. Calibrate, yes. It's calibrating. Cal OK. That's good. Now we can turn the calibrator off. Now replace the windshield and the instrument is now ready to be fitted. Having calibrated the instrument, we now need to attach it. All right, we just attach it to the clothing near the ear. I just clip it on here, for example, and I'll fold the fabric a little and clip it on down there. Now, you may need to um, use some safety pins, etc., depending upon how much physical activity the person's involved in. Now we've attached it, now we just simply turn the instrument on, I hold both buttons, oops, and it's recording, we've got the little play light. We can lock the, uh, the instrument of course too. Okay, here's the software from the supplied CD. <laughs> I run the setup program. Installs, I want to do it in English, and we want to put an application in, and it's the 7825 protector application we install. When this installs, it installs all the drivers, etc., for the instruments. So we just finish this process. Now we've installed the software. I exit from the, soft, the um, installation program, find it down here. Now, next thing I need to do is I'm going to um, plug in the uh, software key which is supplied software will not operate correctly without the key so I simply plug this into the uh, USB port on the side of the PC and I plug in the infrared port. Now I'm installing the software that's for the um, key and this is for the infrared interface. Now if I click on here I can see what's going on. That's for the software key. Right, the software keys installed there, that's the thing. Now the USB device. Now what we need to do 
it's installed as well the infrared interface now I need to double check which particular comms port number it's used now I'm going to right click I left click on start right click on my computer now I left click on manage now I left click on device manager come down to comms ports and we notice that the um, communications port is one and the USB serial port which this device is the infrared port is currently set to uh, two now one of the things that one can do is if it's on the wrong port you click on port settings advanced and from here you can select another comms port for example com2 is appropriate in this case now I'll run up the software click on start right, the software is now running now we need to download now I need to I click on here and what we've got to do is set up the communications of this instrument now I'm going to turn on one of the loggers and I'm going to point the infrared interface at the uh, infrared port on the logger itself Get that pointing there. Now I'm going to click on setup. Now it is set to COM2. There we are. Set that up. Just test it. Let's test the connection here. Yes, we're uh, correctly communicating. Okay, okay. Click next. And click finish. Right, it's a series of runs this instrument has done. If we want to investigate this particular run. We can um, there. Hang on, I'll just here. There's the graph. Now, if we want to download that, I can right-click on and export it to a spreadsheet, etc. So here's all of our results. So you can see, you know, start, stop times, etc. It's very easy to in instrument you use the. Um, BNK 4448. Thank you very much.